obesity and depression aha obesity and no depression. medication except my fucking antidepressants here we go obesity and depression i want to thank this user for sharing this with me because it reminds me of this like really infuriating cycle that i see all the time okay nice glasses by the way holy christ um and we got a six head on our on our hands Okay, so this is a response to a question that says, side note, my main diagnosis listed on my medical chart at my psych psychiatrist's office isn't depression or anxiety like I went in for. It's morbid obesity. All right, so all these people are living. Look, I know people have mental problems. I know people go to psychologists. That's fine. Psychiatrists, you're just getting medication. Most people that are claiming they're depressed, that have all these ADHD and all these fucking things, most people, you ready for this? You don't have to like it. I'm not telling you to stop taking your medication. Most of it is lifestyle related. You're eating garbage food. You're not sleeping. You're not getting sunlight. You're not exercising. You're not meditating. You're not doing all these fucking things. You have tons of endocrine disruptors. You do a job that you fucking hate. You're getting eye blasted with fluorescent light all goddamn day inside. You're living miserable lives. So of course you're fucking depressed. Of course you don't feel good. Of course you're irritable because you're not exercising. You're eating stimulants all fucking day, drinking monsters and Red Bulls and eating processed sugar. It's fucking stupid to not think otherwise. It's so obvious. It's disgusting. So let's just put that out there first and let's continue. Something a lot of concerned individuals love to do is to rattle off all of these statistics around obesity, right? Obesity causes this, causes that. What, what first that? rattle off all of these statistics around love to do is to concerned individuals oh, love concerned. to do is to rattle off all of these statistics around obesity right obesity causes this causes that first okay obesity it's chicken or the egg your terrible lifestyle habits led you to be obese which is also going to lead you to have all these health problems why the fuck are we focused that's because they don't have an argument they keep on acting like you just have obesity and it's causing this you're obese you need to lose weight your lifestyle habits led you to look obese. It led you to have all this extra fat. It's fucking up your body so much, your body just keeps on packing on extra human. It's also leading to your diabetes. It's also leading to your cancer and your heart disease and your all the other shit. It's not an argument. It's so annoying. Well, it's a correlation with obesity. <laughs> One of those correlations is <laughs> depression. And obviously- The gut-brain axis, look it up. Your nutrition and your digestive system and your immune, it's directly related to mental health, directly related. Yeah, these are all separate systems in the body. The body doesn't just interact and it's all together. It's all together. That's the problem with our medical system. Everyone's a specialist in different areas. The body is one entire system. It's not separate. You can't do the digestive system without talking about the brain, without talking about the heart, without talking about everything, every fucking thing. I hate this person. Depression increases your risk of parts of those figures that you're using to scare individuals into weight loss includes <laughs> scare you. just kind She's of just ridiculous in and of itself like how do you decide that that's what it was on top of all right if you're scared if some if you if someone's scaring you into weight loss you are a very fragile individual and there's probably nothing that can save you in this world nothing can save you sorry for all those microaggressions you're going to experience in your life that must be a horrific experience like obviously it's not the weight that is causing the depression, you know? Yeah, it's the fucking terrible lifestyle habits that led to the weight and the depression. But hey, it's only logical. No, see, in fact, what actually causes the increased rate of mental health stress and disorder in fat bodies. Oh, what? oh, yeah. In those fat bodies, those fat bodies that came out of the factory, came out of the factory like that, just came out fucking obese. <laughs> yeah. You ready for this? You ready for this? It's going to get really stupid. I can feel and it. Disorder in fat bodies is weight stigma. Oh, weight stigma cause, oh, weight stigma cause your depression. Matt Damon. It's the weight stigma. It's probably also your thyroid. Oh, the stigma around it. The stigma made me eat those Oreos. The stigma made me sit on my fucking ass eating Cheetos and watching Netflix all night. Oh, it was the stigma. You pathetic excuse for a human being. Ostracizing them, making them feel bad for their body. You feel bad is your fault. If you feel bad, it's your fault. It's your fault you feel bad. That's a that's a hard one to unpack, isn't it? That's a tough one to unpack. To realize, oh shit, I'm responsible for my own feelings? <gasps> yeah, if you feel some side some kind of way about what you've just heard me say, that's your problem. That's your concern. That's your issue, not mine. That's your problem. It's not the stigma. It's your fucking problem. It's because you know it's true. That's why it hurts your feelings because you know 
you're unhealthy. You know you don't put in any fucking effort. You know you're doing it wrong. You know. Yeah. You know. It's not easy to look at yourself in the mirror and realize you're to blame, but it doesn't change the reality. Kind of like rattling off health statistics to scare someone because you're concerned for their health. I don't even know. This is called what the jock scientist. All right. She doesn't look healthy. She's not mentally stable and she's a liar and a grifter. So please get some help. Go to the fucking gym, lose some weight by taking care of your lifestyle habits. Eat a fucking steak. Go to the fucking gym. Best advice. Come and see me. Um, see us in a couple days. I'm totally comfortable in my body. I just don't want to be in pain.